get down on one knee to work on a tire, and let's say on one occasion uh, you get down on your knee and you tear your meniscus, do you realize in the state of North Carolina that is not a work-related injury covered by workers' comp? Now, if you go out of work, and you have a serious injury, you're out of work for a long time, there are no cost of living adjustments. So those are four major inequities in the system. And do you know the proposal that big business wants to run this session? Do you think it addresses any of those things? No. None. Even though we are in the bottom of 15 states in the country in the cost of workers' compensation, Big business says we don't have it good enough, even though business wants to come here, we're number one in the country. And, and the reason when Mike mentioned Site Selection Magazine, there are many factors they assess for what makes a, a state attractive to business. And, and the factor that puts us up at the top is low uh, business cost, which is part of workers' compensation. Now what does business want to do? What do they want to do to the work big business? Now I'm not saying all businesses, but what does big business in this state want to do to workers. Well, right now, one reason the costs are low is because if I get down on my knee and it's what I regularly do and I tear my meniscus, it's not covered. That's one reason the costs are low. Another reason that if, if states, Wisconsin, Massachusetts, many states across this country where the worker gets to choose the doctor, but in North Carolina, uh, the employer, the insurance company picks your doctor. And you know what? What, what they want to do in addition to that. Now right now, even though they get to pick your doctor, they can't pull your doctor aside and say, hey, we want you to get them back to work. Just get something. Just get, release them. We'll find something for them to do to get their benefits cut off, and then we'll take care of them later on. But they want to be able to talk to your doctors without you even knowing about it. Now that's, what the, that's one of the things you're going to fight for. Another thing they're going to fight for is they want to say, all right, we've got a cap on death benefits. Not only do we want to cap death benefits, we want to cap it benefits, period, at 400 weeks. So if you are a dock worker uh, who has worked uh, uh, 20, work, 20 years since you were 20 on a loading dock, you injure your back, you can't go back to that job, uh, and you have high wages in a union job, and you can't go back to that job, then they want to say, well, the, the maximum you can get, period, will be 400 weeks. We, we really don't... Uh, uh, it, it, it we'll leave it up to the taxpayer to take care of you if you can never go back to work. So, I don't believe these are the kind of issues that when Republican workers and Democratic workers come up to this legislature, you're going to find friends on the other side. And I know right now we've got friends on the other side, but it's going to take a lot of work. But this is a fight we can win because we're on the right side of this issue. Uh, and we do have friends on the other side of this issue, but, but uh, if we stand still, we will lose this battle because the leadership uh, 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 right now has made a commitment to the chamber to roll back worker rights. However, when the, when the rubber meets the road and the rank and file membership, both Democrat and Republican, see what's going on, uh, I think it's a fight we can win. And, I, and, I, and there's a reason I told you about the governor's vote in 1994, because she's made amends over the years for that vote. But the true test of this governor uh, as to whether she truly is our friend, and she said she made a mistake back then and didn't fully appreciate what she did in 94. And she has been helping us along the way. She just recently, <coughs> a judge that was very, very biased against workers, she removed that judge from the Industrial Commission, so she has been listening to the working people of this state. But the true test is if <coughs> big business tries to cram a, a, a bill down our throats that does nothing for workers and everything for big business, then she can't veto everything, but we need to fully expect that she will hold her veto pen uh, if, she, if, uh, if we get a worker comp bill that is unacceptable. We need to hold her to that, because that's going to be the true test of whether she made a mistake in 1994 and understands the importance of our worker comp.